podcast where we talk about anything and everything from faith, finance, and fitness to things that life throws at us. Guys, before we continue off on to you know, our podcast, I would just ask if you could subscribe, if you could like, if you could comment. If you're on Spotify, be sure to hit us up with a follow and a rating. If you're on Apple Podcasts, same thing there. If you're on YouTube, subscribe and comment because it would be highly appreciated. It helps out tremendously with the algorithm. And, you know, something I have not plugged before, but I'm going to plug today, probably going to do for the other episodes, is if you have TikTok or Instagram, be sure to follow us up there. We have clips and, you know, little reels and stuff for you guys to just check out and enjoy. So we are in a series of the Red Flags series. Today, specifically with Red Flags, we're going to talk about dating. So my perspective on Red Flags, it's not so much um, judgment of superiority. It's not so much the factor, the idea of, hey, you know, what flaws can we seek out in people? But it's more so things that are pointed out. Um, through discernment because as a believer I understand that everyone sees things the way I do as far as my perspective but my perspective is a faith-based perspective you know from the biblical point of view and so these are kind of my um, discernments I guess or you know just these things that I use as a sense of discernment to, to evaluate you know sort of like red flags and stuff like that so I do not say this from a point of view of, of judgment of superiority I do not say this from a point of view of you know, brushing anyone off. I'm always open to being friends with anyone, but you know, for when it comes to a standpoint of dating, I, you know, do not want to flirt with the idea or be tempted with the idea of these red flags. So my first red flag is not being a Christian. Um, just due to the fact that the scripture makes it clear to be equally yoked. It's in one of the Corinthians. Um, I've quoted it before and I've said it before. I'll pull it up on the screen. But, you know, it talks a lot about basically not being unequally yoked with a, a non-believer. And it's not just a partnership with marriage. It's also, I guess, like partnership in life and stuff. And it's not to say you can't be friends with someone. It's just more so of a matter of, of you know, I guess your inner circle or your council of wisdom. And so that's one thing for me. And, and you know, this kind of lies a little bit under it, but it's not just being a Christian. It's actually someone who lives out what they what they what they preach you know they practice what they preach and i'm not big on the idea of oh i'm a christian but then i go off and party or oh i'm a christian i do xyz um that to me is a red flag just due to the fact that i take you know one thing i prioritize over anything is jesus christ and under that so that could be you know um, my family my finance my fitness my my friends all these things you know on top of everything for you know my number one priority is jesus christ in my life and you know i'm not standing here you know saying oh i'm perfect i'm fine I, no because i'm a human being who has flaws as well but the bible does make it clear to use your discernment and be wise in your in your judgment and in your choices and stuff and so for me it's not enough and it is a red flag when someone claims they're christian but they live otherwise so another red flag for me as well is just um confusion on the direction you know I'm not big on, on, you know, wondering whether, oh, is she into me? Is she not, you know, I'm very clear on my intentions. I'm very clear on my communication and, you know, just the idea of having to question whether this is going to work out for me or not. I'm not a big fan of, and it's not, you know, I'll give me what I want. It's more so like if things are inconsistent, you know, for me, inconsistency brings annoyance and annoyance brings frustration. So for me, it's like, why, why am I going to flirt or why am I going to wander off wondering, Oh, does this person like me? Do they not? You know, um, if they're being inconsistent with how, you know, their approaches and stuff, I feel like consistency in a lot of areas of life is important and consistency in dating as well as, you know, so what consistency looks like for me is like, you know, consistently checking up on me consistently, you know, being intentional by reaching out consistently, you know, making plans consistently seeing how I'm truly doing with my walk with God. Another red flag as well is just a lack of correction or having a, a, a non-teachable spirit so as believers you know we are to hold each other accountable we are to you know love each other and first love god and then love each other you know and so you know i am very big on trying my best it doesn't mean i do it perfectly but i'm very big on being corrected for my wrongdoings whether i said something inappropriate i said something wrong i said something harsh i said something rude or I did something as well. I did something out of anger, or whatever. You know, I'm very big on on accountability and and being corrected. But same thing applies towards other people. I, you know, when it comes to dating, a red flag for me is someone who can't be corrected and someone who is is unteachable. Because you know, if I can't, you know, hold you accountable, and it's not to point nitpick every single little thing, 
But if, I, if I'm trying to approach you with love, and instead you hit me back with pride and arrogance and you, you're perfect, you're right, you didn't do anything wrong, that's a turnoff for me. I just don't find that attractive. And, and especially when it comes to like dating, because dating is the intention of marriage. So having to deal with that from a long-term basis, you know, of, of being with someone who can't be teachable or correctable, it's not the biggest, you know, attraction thing for me. I don't know how or why I worded it that way. It's not the biggest thing for me. Um, it's not something I'm really drawn towards. You know, I want to be with someone and date someone who is teachable who has a, a a spirit of correction you know someone who wants to be held accountable and, and vice versa i want you know i want to live that way out too so this is a big one um especially as a man but you know another red flag is getting physical so you know your weaknesses you know what you can and can't do you know what you should and shouldn't do and so one big red flag is being physical and it's not just sexually i want to carry on towards the fact of living a christ-centered relationship and part of living holy and pure is in a lot of ways. And one of those ways is also just physically speaking, which is why it's super important to have those boundaries. Super important to, to act out on that, on those convictions and not just say, oh, we're not going to do this, do that, but actually put up those barriers and have a game plan initially. Super important. Um, red flag is, is really just physical. And this mainly goes towards the guys because I know, you know, some girls can get physical, but it is a guy issue for sure, um, predominantly speaking. And, and, you know, guys, you are to lead your woman, your lady, your girlfriend, your fiance, whatever, um, into the direction of purity and not, oh, we love God, but it's okay to do X, Y, Z, you know, and, and it's super important. And if, if the person you're with both guy and girl, if the person you're with does not respect that boundary of not getting physical, um, that definitely is a red flag and something that you should, um, not flirt with that idea because if they're not willing to you know, respect you, your boundary, physically speaking, then they're probably not willing to respect you spiritually, you know, verbally, mentally, emotionally, all these things. So another red flag too, that, um, you know, I've, I've come to terms with is rushing into things. I think, you know, when it comes to dating, a d dating really is, is evaluation. Like I've said in the other podcasts, but dating is also like what leads on to marriage. And when you're marrying someone, that is a huge investment. That is someone you're making a lifelong commitment to. And that's someone you're spending the rest of your life with, you know? So it's super important to use that discernment. It's super important to be wise. And if someone just wants to rush into a relationship, oh, just cause, oh, this makes me feel good. Oh, uh, make it Instagram official, whatever. Huge red flag because, you know, they're not willing to, to take the time to, to take, you know, cool off, you know, enjoy each other's presence, but also get to know each other and evaluate, okay, is this someone I can date? Not marry, but if, is this someone I can date, you know? And I've seen it multiple times i've lived it even with my um you know ex-girlfriend with my former relationship you know to where you go out on one date and you automatically assume oh this is it this is the one whatever but it's a red flag you know and if you want to rush into things because what what is rushed is not good generally speaking one of my best friends um he got into a relationship after like i think it was a month or two of talking or something um i believe i'm not too sure but then he just made it official that didn't work out with his with his ex and you know he rushed into it and he didn't use that discernment um and i'm a, i'm not saying it to like crap on him i'm saying it because it, you see it all the time you see these short-lived relationships because they were so focused on making things quick you know making things on a certain timeline but remember god's timeline is the best timeline god's plans are the best you know so it's super important and that is a red flag you know that's something i hold near and dear to my heart because I don't want to be rushed into something. I want everything to be according to the will and the timing of God. So, you know, it's super important, both guy and girl, once again, to not rush into things. And if it's, if your partner wants to just make things official, make things quick, that's something you should, you know, definitely contemplate on. Now, once again, I'm not saying this so you can have the moral high ground. I'm not saying this by any means of, of targeting anyone specific. I think it's important, though, to remember, you know, you're not to hold wrongdoings against anyone. You're not to hold negative things towards anyone. But the Bible does make it clear to be wise and use discernment. So with that, it's like, okay, how are you going to discern? How are you going to think on, okay, you know, this, there's these certain indicators that are kind of, you know, a turn off or it's a red flag. You know, I'm not saying if they have these exact things, cut ties with them. I'm saying this in a sense of be wise and 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 be alerted as well. Be, really think think on what it is you're about to do 
and how you're you're gonna move forward and continue with this relationship. That's it for today's podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you um you know just just this gave you a perspective. I hope that really this is something that that you walk away with with value if you did be sure to subscribe on youtube be sure to follow us on spotify and apple Podcasts and all these things i will see you guys next time on the next podcast take care